Welcome to wiring and interior. The shop is a huge mess right now with sawdust everywhere, but let's first start on the obvious, the wheels. The shot wheels came in, very, very pleased with them. Fronts are 19 by eight. The uh, front tires are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup fours, or Sport fours, whatever they're called. Um, 235, 35, ZR19, the front. Um, my measurements turned out to be perfect on it with the tool that I used. It, um, I've got about a quarter inch at full lock clearance against the inner lip of the fender, so I'm very, very pleased. I've got enough suspension play in that, um, so it's gonna work out really, really well. Backs. These things are 20 by 11. The tires are Toyo R888Rs, about 13 inches wide. They are the 325-30ZR20s. Uh, just a note on these that um, <laughs> really, really hard to put on. Um, I actually had to drop the suspension and to take the shocks out, the panhard bar and the exhaust. Um, drop the rear end all the way down as low as I can get it in order to clear the lip of the body. So any type of roadside changing is obviously not going to happen with these. Um, suspension, I don't have it quite set or set quite right at the moment. Um, I'm going to lower the shocks by about an inch. It's got a little bit too much rake in it, but no worries. Um, obviously, let's get to the interior. I've never done interior before. So this is where I'm at at the moment. Step back and you can kind of see the framing here. So basically, I started with the sub box back in there. Um, MDF basic box and then that predicated, that positioning was based off of the component speakers, the mid-range and the tweeters, where I was gonna mount those, make sure I have enough clearance. And then the bottom panels are half inch MDF, miter cut to the slope there, and then half inch MDF here on the bottom. Um, I have a couple of uh, braces underneath this, so it's weights distributed all the way across it. Um, the side panels are um, eighth inch, um, pretty basic. There's stops here in the corners, similar to that in those here. This obviously is a panel that will be hinged. And the idea here is that um, easy access. Why am I doing all of this in a big access panel? Well, back here is not only the amps and four crossovers, but also the fuse panel and probably some of possibly the computers. Basically, I'm gonna get as much as I can back here. And the current thinking is actually building, gonna build standoffs off of this and put um, quarter inch PVC black plastic and everything's gonna get mounted to that. And then everything's gonna be clean, zip tied with the wires ran underneath it. So basically it's kind of like a false floor. Um, so it should look pretty good, it should be serviceable. And then it's just going to be a question of trying to figure out where to run all the wires, make sure it looks nice and clean. Um, I've got to build a panel to cover the bottom of the trunk. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Possibly a big PVC panel and heat it up and bend it. Maybe some type of plastic. Not really sure yet. But next up on the big construction here is gonna be the console. So I'll throw the other seat frame in and then figure out exactly what I wanna do with the console. Um, the infotainment system is a floating screen. It's a pretty big one. Uh, it's a double DIN receiver that goes in and then the screen itself just kind of floats up and it should look pretty neat. But I'll need to figure out dimension, spacing, get the shifter mounted get it all designed and figured out. So that'll be kind of the, the hard construction of making sawdust and making a mess. And then from there, I 
think I'm going to do the wiring. And then after the wiring is done, I'll have a, I should be able to go on to the interior and covering all the panels. Obviously make door panels, recover the seats. I'm going to make a back seat. At least that's my initial plan. Whether or not that'll happen, we're going to see. But, um, so sawdust, which is kind of funny with the custom car, <laughs> but, and then once that's done, get into wiring. So it's going to be interesting to figure out all the uh, circuits, how are the, everything's going to get wired. Um, I'm probably going to have to run a bunch of extra relays, um, probably. A, I think I've got a 21 circuit fuse or a fuse um, system from um, who did I order that from? Um, American Auto Wire. So that's all sitting in there. I don't think that's going to be enough with all of the other electronics. I've got um, pulse uh, width modulation for the fans and for the fuel pump. So that's to be figured out. Terminator Max, all the wiring. Big mess, but all of it goes in there. And obviously, I need to figure out where I'm going to run the uh, Holly Terminator. Probably at the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to run it in the console underneath, like in the console, um, run a hole up in the, the uh, tunnel and feed the wires through there. But again, we're gonna see. I could put it potentially underneath the seat. Um, we're gonna see how long the leads are. I don't obviously wanna cut that up and modify it, but if I have to, I have to. So, that's where we're at the moment. I'm gonna do more videos as I get into the wiring in the interior. I've never done that before, so I'll talk about my screw ups. Um, one obviously being this back panel that I made. This is the, I think that's the, oops, I think the third one of these I made. I templated everything. Um, I'll show you the templates. It's hot glued together until I ran out of hot glue. But this is basically just plastic cardboard sign. I made the templates, and then originally I made it out of half inch MDF thinking I need it a lot stronger than it needed to be, but that actually didn't work because it stood out proud. Here it stood out, so it actually needed to be thinner to tuck back in and have a little bit of flex to it, so. Lessons learned. Make it out of thin material. But uh, that's it for the moment. Working on the console, just getting some templates together. So this is kind of Interesting, um, I started with cardboard and piece of plastic on this side. This is my first full cutout of the template. Um, I've got a floating receiver that's a double DIN receiver. I had to measure the angle, um, I had to measure the standoff and all the uh, measurements to make sure I was good on where this angle was or should be. Um, it basically is gonna sit up high kind of into the dash a little bit and float and it has a little bit of an adjustment to it as well so the trick here is following the tunnel because it's custom on both sides i've only have one side done i'm using the other side to mirror i'm going to build out on tape the existing template obviously this is for the wrong side over here so i'll build that out and then i also have to make sure that this far side is adjusted and the height is correct. So I'm gonna have to build the top up a little bit and the bottom up a little bit, make sure it's 90. And then I think the idea is I'm gonna cut another piece of this out on the other side, couple, couple of square blocks for here and probably here or the top, screw it all together and then adjust it and trim it. And once I'm happy with it, then I can transfer it to some potentially final material. So what I'm looking at here is from a design standpoint, I've got a console um, with a lid on it. I'm gonna build this front slope here. I'll likely put all four of the um, power window switches. 
I'm gonna get my uh, shifter in there. I've gotta do the heat seeders. On the back side, I'll leave room for either cup holders or uh, the heat seeders for the back. A um, couple other switches that will need to be in, as well as two cup holders to figure out how to stuff that in there as well. And then I'll probably on the side pocket section here, I'm, it's not gonna be flat, I'm gonna do some contours. I wanna uh, lip with some LED lights underneath it. Um, and then I want some type of pocket on both sides for cell phones, ideally wireless charging built into it. Um, I may have a removable panel here or an insert. So I gotta play with that. Um, may not happen though because I'm limited on space here and I still have to deal with my heat and AC vents. So I'll put one down here in the corner. This side's gonna be a little tricky. I may make something that stands off over here. But I'm gonna see, obviously start with the console and then kind of work out how much room I have, where that's gonna get routed, wiring and all that other fun stuff. So other side is not as bad. I could basically do the typical Tri-5 Chevy panel with a two, but the uh, heat and AC unit here poses, poses a little bit of a challenge. So still figuring it out. But comfort-wise, uh, seats forward, seat back, I think that's going to be basically where I could reach everything, where everything should line up. Um, so, progress so far. Update on my console. I went from template to final. The sides here are made out of quarter-inch. Um, I didn't do MDF simply because the staples don't go into it as easy. You can see the frame here. I've got it mounted. I made a uh, little brace for it. Bent up some uh, brackets. Overall, really happy with it, the way it's coming out so far. A um, little rundown of what's going on here. Um, the panels here are gonna be magnetic, uh, recessed in. And then I've got some panels I'm gonna put on the side with some lighting. The idea is I can get hopefully enough thickness on the top to do a French seam. Um, obviously I need to figure out where the shifter goes. Um, that's here next as well as building my box for the glove box. Um, I gotta figure out accessibility. I think I may make it removable. So the whole box itself can come out so I can get to the inside of it. If I decide to put some electronics down here, I'm not exactly sure yet. The back side, this is gonna be a magnetic plate that I'll be able to pull out for that panel. Um, on the back here, we're gonna have the switches for the rear heated seats, a uh, outlet for phone chargers, and then two pockets or big pocket for uh, phones. And then the other plans on the sides here, basically make a square and I'm gonna have a wireless charging pad on both sides and be able to slide the cell phones down in little compartments there. That's where we're at so far. Just kind of figuring things out as I go along here. Center console done. Very happy with the way it came out. I've got my blocks down there. Basically slides in. I left enough for seam allowance on the sides and on the back. And works out pretty well. I've got a little extra room in here in case if I uh, wanna put a defense device. I may have made it to a specific model, but that's okay. We're not gonna go into that. And I still have room here for switches and wiring. This back panel will set flush, as well as this one. This will be recessed so I can access the bolts. I basically can pull the whole thing apart with magnets and get to anything I need.